Hey guys, uh, I did have another video planned for today, but I guess I'm not gonna be uploading it. Um, I didn't upload last week because I didn't have a good internet service last week, so I did not upload. I did have a video ready and I didn't upload it, so that video is not going up. Um, but for this week, I thought that I would share with you guys some a useful tip that I uh, tip huh? A useful tip that I saw on TikTok for masks. So I'm about to do that right now. <laughs> you gotta get the bike on, you know, that mic, the bike mic, book box. Actually, really noisy next to me, so that's why I have the mic on. So hopefully, you guys can hear me better and less of the background noise. But if it's just as bad, that's my channel. It's all about horrible content. So everybody should have access to a mask like this like not everybody has access to the N95 masks um, which are good because they're thicker and they're closed on the sides but these masks they're kind of like they're kind of open on the side so like if somebody's like Cah! like if somebody like coughs on the side because they're dumbasses and they're not really wearing a mask um, you're you could be screwed, I don't know, depends. <laughs> so what you could do to make this mask more safe is first you're gonna fold this in half, just like that. And then you're going to take this strap and you're just gonna make a loop. So I'm just like looping this and make sure you put the loop all the way at the end. Like that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, so I'm just going to do that right now. Alright, so now we got something like this, like, right? So then, now that we did this, this actually made it, it's going to make it more tighter on our faces and not as loose. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is we're going to take this, so this is the outside, we're going to take it and we're just going to push it on the inside, like that. And you're just going to tuck that down. so that it looks like this. It's kind of like fold it in and you're going to do the same on this side, just tuck it in. So now your mask should be looking something like that. So on the corners, it's like tighter. And then when you put it on your face, this is like a really shitty mask that my dad brought from his work. And like this thing is fake, like it doesn't even shape to your face. It's just, I don't even know what it is, a piece of rubber or something. But hopefully you guys will get better masks. And then you put it on your face. It's like tighter on your face. And you can like... And like as you can see like... It's not really open in the sides anymore. It's like closer to your face. So um, that's the first tip I have. And then the second tip that I have to make this mask better. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. But... It works, trust me. These are Banty Biners, AKA Panty Liners. So it's a female product. Anyways, um, so if you can find something thin like this, or if you wanna use a full-fledged pad, like go ahead, buddy. But these are really thin. And what this does, it creates kind of like a filter and you can actually change these out um, so that like you don't breathe in the same mask that you've been breathing the day before you know what I mean whatever I use them probably like two or three times and then I throw them out so what you can do is you can put this on the inside towards the top so I'm just putting it like towards the top like that kind of like try to put it as flat as possible because you don't want it to like get caught up in your mask and it kind of makes the mask thicker so that you don't really breathe in any of the nasties and it just looks like that. But now the mask is thicker and not as thin. And then, now your mask is thicker so less of the little particles can get in, you know? Now it's tight on the sides and it's like thicker so thick like my ass. The last tip that I have for you guys is to test if your masks are good or not so this is how you can test how your mask if your masks are like 
safe or not to use. Obviously, like if everybody around you is wearing a mask, it doesn't really matter how thick you make your mask because everyone's wearing a mask. But if like you go to an area where it's like really hood and people, <laughs> this is from personal experience, okay? Everyone's like really ghetto and like nobody cares about you and they're just like coughing up a storm all around you. Oh, this is some leftover almond milk. Anyways, um, then you might want to wake. Then you might want to wake. Might want to wake. sure that your mask is safe you know what I'm saying so then we're gonna put this on it's kind of like a vibe test but it's a vibe test for your mask so let's see if our mask passes the vibe test um so you just get a match we're gonna light it up and we're gonna blow onto the match and if the match goes out then that means this mask is way too thin then you might want to wake our mask our mask passed the vibe check guys if you guys enjoyed this week's video, please give it a huge, huge thumbs up. Just like you would put your thumb up your ass. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you should subscribe to my channel. Why? Why not? You know, like, you don't have anything to lose. Maybe your sanity, maybe a little bit of self-respect, but like, we don't have any of that at the moment, so you might as well just subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video if my internet is stable. <sighs> Did you take a shit? <gasps> you popped! You popped! And I just touched your pop. Like and subscribe. No, yeah, I'm a <laughs>